Hello everybody. Today's tutorial is, do you think you can do a suit of ask tutorial? Yes, but forgive me, my back is like extra bad. <laughs> um, so I can't jump very high, but I can definitely explain the coordination and the directions and the arms and stuff. So hopefully even though I'm not doing a very high jump, um, you'll still understand it and you'll still feel comfortable getting into it when the time comes to do it in class or on stage. So usually when this is taught to beginners, um, you do it kind of flat. And this is just so you can get comfortable with doing a half turn and a half turn. But we most often see it traveling in a diagonal, sometimes even in a circle, like in Giselle. But the basic gist is if you're doing a soda bosque to the right, to stage right, you step on the right, push off of it, you kick the left leg up, and while you're in the air, you transfer, and you do travel in soda bosque. You don't have to do just up and down. There is a little bit of a lateral transfer. So we're in the air, and then you have to land with your leg in passe. And then typically you put it down and you go into something else. It's very uncommon to do a soda boss and then just sit there. <laughs> and usually you pick up this passe leg almost immediately. Like almost as soon as you push off in the air, you pick it up. But as jumps become bigger and more impressive, especially with the men, now sometimes it is common to try to achieve like a split <laughs> in the air before you come down and land. So if I were a beginner learning Soda Boss to the right, it would probably look like this. And if I were a beginner doing soda boss to the left, it would probably look like this. I will turn around so you can follow from behind. So when you're learning and practicing a soda boss flat, it's pretty easy because you just have this little half and half flip-flop motion. And you generally spot the direction in which you are traveling. So if I'm doing a soda boss to the right, I want to keep looking towards the right because in all likelihood, I'm going to keep traveling that way. As I said, there's usually something that comes right after a soda boss. You don't typically just like stop and stare at the audience. It's it's like an in-between, like, surprise step. It's like a, a climax and then you keep going. So you generally have something after Soda Boss. But it does not always come from this coupe. It could come from just a regular old chasse step go. It could come after a little, um, Tour de Force, or Chasse Entrenant, or Chasse Coupe, I don't know, people have all different names for it, like a little wee, and then wee. So try not to get caught up in the preparation. I know it's a little scary, but you can almost think of it as uh, similar to how you start a Tour Jeté, and I do have a Tour Jeté, or Entra Lassé tutorial. You can even practice at the bar. If you are traveling to the right, you generally push off the right, kick the left, but instead of landing in an arabesque like you do in Tour Jeté, you push and you land in a passe facing the audience or facing the corner in which you keep traveling. It is very similar to Entralisse or Tour Jeté in the way that you push off you kick, you switch, and you land. 
So even if you're coming from a chasse or a step step, the takeoff is the same. If you're going to the left, push off the left, land on the right. If you are doing it to the right, you push off the right, land on the left. And if you want to do big arms, typically they come up with the leg. They, they kind of are attached with the leg. They, they kind of come up at the same time. And in fact, uh, when I studied with Kelsey Kirkland for a summer, just, just to get the force behind the arms, she used to have us like smack our own legs as we were getting the leg up. You should not actually be smacking yourself because in reality, your hands should not be coming behind you like this. But it is just like a fun little experiment if you're having trouble getting your arms coordinated with your legs. Just be like, get up there, you know? Um, so as I was saying, the, the, the arms would most likely be in second position or like a second position allongé for your chasse or your step step or you know you could be coming out of something else but generally um, your arms will be coming from second position you gather them they come up with the leg and they remain up usually if you're doing a soda box with your arms in third they would stay up and then come down as the leg comes down and go into something else. I have also seen them come down and through the first position and open again. I think it depends on like what your next thing is. So um, a couple of little things to remember. There should be a moment where both legs are straight and turned out and you don't want to already be landing on the other leg before this one comes up. So it's not, it's not like a skip where you're just like, <laughs> you know, there has to be a moment where they are both extended, both straight, both turned out. Similar to how like when you do a glissade, like there has to be a moment where they're both extended and straight. You can't just you can't just like, like skip into it. If you're doing just a single soda bosque, you don't need to take that much force. Even though soda bosques do travel, um, during the jump, you really should think about going up. You will naturally travel, you know, without even trying, just because you are transferring your weight through this big, second position. So uh, if you're doing a single, you don't need to worry about really like whipping it around too much because what can happen is you'll like overturn in your landing and you could potentially kind of like twist your knee or just fall out of it. You know, if you like, if you overturn, your landing is going to be kind of shaky. Um, if you're a big fancy man and you're going to be doing a double soda bosque or a triple soda bosque, then yes, you probably need more force. But if you're just learning and just getting used to it, think more of up and you will naturally travel. Um, also, the leg that brushes, you got to think of it like a grand bama. You really have to get some like force in there and that force will help take you up. You can't just be like, Meh. you know, like this is a jump. You need force. You need to be strong and you need to like commit and be brave. Another thing is when you are brushing the leg, you know, the kicking leg, Try to make sure you're almost, you're going through like a, uh, like a devant position or almost imagine that you're brushing through first position. It is really important to have the body set up because what you don't want to do, 
you don't want to do a, a front de jambe. You know, it's not a roundhouse kick. Again, this is something that is similar to tour jeté slash entrelacé, whatever you prefer to call it. It's not a roundhouse kick. You know, it's it's brush change in the air land. You don't want to. Uh, it's not that. It's a sharp, deliberate, intentional brush uh, in the direction in which you are traveling. So I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching and stay salty, everybody.